Hi, Vanner Fanner family. It's time for another video. In this video, I am setting up my rear view mirror backup camera, but it's going to be an on all the time camera. It's not going to be just for backing up because I don't have access to the back. So I need an actual rear view mirror. But before we do that, I want to remind you, definitely help your favorite YouTubers grow their channel by subscribing, liking, sharing, and going down to the comment section and doing channel engagement by going down there, talking to them, chatting with them, asking questions, all that jazz. Also, see if they have either a Patreon or a YouTube join button where you can partner financially with them and become a channel partner and help them grow their channel, do better content, more content, and earn a little additional income. So we're doing the backup camera today. <laughs> it's a sunny day and I've got a few hours to kill and I'm all tangled up in cords right now. <laughs> okay, here we go. So this is supposed to go on my existing rear view mirror. It's got some little, um, it's got little adjustable grips that are going to hopefully hold it on there. So I'm going to put it on the bottom first and slide those grips. Uh, if they'll slide. Looks like I have to use my hand, which is weird. Here we go. Perfect. I like that. Nice. It fits very snugly. I feel like even on a bumpy road, that's probably not going to go anywhere. So that's good. Um, so I've got my power cord, which I just have to push this button. It comes with 25 feet of cable to get it all the way to the back. So I should be good to go. So I'm going to plug in the power cord into my cigarette lighter. And then I'm going to push the power cord and let's see if I see myself in this camera in the rear view mirror. I do! <laughs> That's so cool! Let me show you guys. So you can see me in the rear view mirror. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm excited. I'm excited to have a camera that's going to be on whenever I need it to be on. That was the one thing about the wireless system that I did not like. Is the plug, that cord that I just showed you, the little button, the cigarette lighter, was way in the back. And so I, if I didn't remember to turn it on, then I didn't have a backup camera. I much rather prefer the wired one. So now I've got to take all of this cable... <laughs> This whole 25 feet of cable. And figure out where it's all going to get tucked away in the front. The parts that are staying in the front. And then I've got to take it all the way to the back. I've got to set this up. I'm hoping that this goes um, in the place where I had the other camera. That would be ideal. But if not, it'll go on the license plate. So I'm going to unplug it for now. While I decide where all this cable is going to get tucked. I think I can tuck some of it up in here and through here and I'm going to tuck it back behind the sink area. Let it sit in the windowsill down there so I don't see it and so it doesn't get in my way. And then take it along this whole wall to the back and then um, in between the front door, the back doors, there's rubber seal. I'll take it through that. So I should be okay um, to do that. So. First things first, we gotta tuck this part away. Okay, I've got the inside done. Now it's time to do the outside camera. So I have two options here. I can try and put it, which I'm hoping this is what I wanna do. Don't know how much trouble I'll get in because it's gonna partially block my light. But I'd like to put it up here. As you can see, it's not wide enough, so I'd have to screw exact I'd have to screw into the plastic or put it up under like I did before and screw into 
the metal there, which I can do. Or I can put it down here on my license plate, which is with where it's supposed to go. So it's supposed to go behind the license plate. And I can do that too. But I kind of think I want it up higher, more of a deterrent for people to try and steal it because it's up higher. So you're going to look real obvious trying to steal my um, camera. So what I need to do is um, pull the plug out here and then I need to go in the van and turn the camera on and make sure I have it facing the correct way. I don't know if it only works in one direction. If I turn it upside down, I, don't, I want to make sure I have the camera facing the correct way. So again, ideally, I would love for it to go up under here, under my rear view light, but uh, we shall see. Okay, so that's the picture out the back, and as you can see, it is upside down, so there is only one way it looks like to do the camera. I don't think I have any functions. There are no buttons. Uh, maybe there are a couple of buttons in the back of this that I did not read what they were for. So maybe that's something I can click on to change the camera where they go. Uh, I can't feel them now. All right, let me get the instructions and see if there's something we can do to flip the camera around. Okay, so I used the three buttons on the back of the um, monitor that's on the um, rear view mirror. And it only adjusts brightness, contrast, hue, and turns the guidelines on and off. I turned the lines off, um, the backup guidelines off, because I'm going to be using this as my actual rear view mirror. Um, so I don't want those lines on all the time. So the camera is upside down like that. So now I know that the camera's upside down. I know it has to be faced the other way. Or what I think I'm going to do is take the screws out, turn the camera around the right side, the right way, and then um, put the screws back in. That way the camera is right side up. But I can use it the way I want to use it, the bracket. I'm changing the bracket, basically. So let me get my screwdriver because my drill is uh, <laughs> no battery. It's died, and I need to plug it in. But I'm going to get my screwdriver, unscrew those two small screws, flip the camera around, and that way I know it'll be good to okay, go. Okay, so the wind is kicking up a little bit, and um, <laughs> the tripod fell over a little while ago. So I think you're okay now. I'm hoping you guys don't go flying. But... um. You up with something else there so I did take the camera off the frame and I turned it around so it could go on the underneath all right hopefully that works now okay let's try this again <laughs> bloopers outtakes so I turned I tried putting it on the top but that gives me too much of a gap and then water's gonna get down behind there and that's my top attic right there so if anything, if, if that's going to get wet inside my home, inside the van, then we'll have mold, mildew, and that whole situation. So putting it on the bottom with a little bit of a gap is fine because when it rains, it rains down anyway into the gutter there. So it's fine. So I'm going to put it on the bottom. So I did take the camera off of the frame, turned it around, and looked, plugged it in, checked it out. Everything is working fine. So what I'm going to do is unplug it because I'm going to feed the wire into my attic so that I can bring the wire into the attic so I don't have anything in the doorway. So I'm going to unplug it, stick the wire up in the attic, and then I'll go around once I get all the screws put back in place for the light. Um, I'm going to then go inside and plug it in, and then I'll show you guys, you know, in how everything's working. But it's working. I've tested it. You know, dry test. It's fine. So um, it's working perfectly. I'm excited to have an actual rear view mirror. So let me get all these wires tucked in and just ignore all this extra windage. Okay, done. So I had to put screws into the actual um, plate and I already had holes there from the last backup camera that I used, the wireless Halo View backup camera. I will link that video in the card above. So I already had holes there, so I had to put, because this plastic alone was not in, was not screwing down tight enough to hold this bracket in by itself. So I just used the existing screw hose, because remember, I'm using a screwdriver. My hand is killing me. Um, but yeah, so now I just need to adjust the camera. And uh, from what I can tell, it needs to be slightly down, because obviously I have it at the highest point, or one of the highest points in my van. And so any other car is mostly going to be shorter than me for the most part. So um, 
I'm going to close everything up. So again, I put the wire into the light, which is in my attic, and the other cord is, a, is connected to it in the attic. So the cord's out of sight. I was going to bring it down here in between the two rubber pieces of the door, but I didn't have to do that. I just stuck it behind the light with the other wires that go to the light. So I'm going to put my chair and stuff back in here, close these back doors up, and then we're going to go around and we're going to look at the angle of the camera in the rearview mirror and see what it's looking like. And um, I will be taking a drive later on this evening to meet up with a friend and uh, I'll test the camera at various places before I get on the highway. There are a couple shopping centers that I have to pass. So if the camera adjustment is not quite so, then I'll pull into a shopping center, adjust it and fix it. So let's go see what it looks like for right now. So here's a rear view mirror, as you can see behind me, obviously nobody's parked behind me, but it looks like it's a fairly decent um, angle. I think I actually like this angle. So we'll see when I actually take a drive what it looks like. So I'm gonna neaten up these wires in here for this power cord. The other wires I tucked away and um, we should be good to go now. I'm excited to actually use this this evening. So I'm excited to be able to drive and be able to see what's behind me. I do, ha I have mastered using my side mirrors, but um, I still have to really kind of sometimes adjust them to get to see exactly what's behind me. But uh, I'm excited to have an actual functioning rear view mirror. So I will set the tripod up and show you as I'm driving later on to this evening, how it's working for me. Or I'll just hold the cell phone up for a few seconds just to show you. And um, so look for that footage now. So as you can see, I have great um, coverage of the camera. It is in the perfect location thus far, it seems. So I think I'm gonna leave it exactly how it is. Uh, there was parked cars on the road. And uh, as I passed them, I could see that the camera was lined up just perfectly. I haven't had anyone pull in behind me yet, but I will adjust it as I need. But I feel like this is a good beginning um, location for the camera. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another video from start to finish. Thank you for watching as many of the ads as possible. Mwah! I'll see you next time, but you've got a few seconds left. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Check out the playlist of the journey from day one and a big thank you to my channel partners for making this video possible.